So we're gonna get started setting up our AppSync project. To do so, we're gonna follow along with an article I wrote a little while ago, at least the beginning of it. So if you haven't already, you're gonna install the Amplify CLI. You can do that by running this command, and then you need to connect it with your AWS account. So you're gonna to wanna to create one of those and then run Amplify Configure. And so I'm gonna start from there. The next step is to kind of set up your project or the React project you wanna create. So I went ahead and built that already. Um, and what I did to create this is I said create React app um, dash dash TypeScript. So this is the name of my folder. I just called it AppSync. And then I'm using the TypeScript version. Now make sure when you run this, you can also prefix it with create React app. Just make sure you're on the latest version of create React app 2.1.1 is what I have or later. Um, and then you'll be able to use the dash dash TypeScript flag. So what that should give you is a boilerplate for TypeScript and create React app. And you can see I have a TSX files and I also have a TS config. All right, so we have both of those. The next thing is to add Amplify to our project by running Amplify init. So let's go ahead and run that. And this is gonna set up it in our project. So let's go ahead and say Visual Studio Code. Um, and we're gonna be using JavaScript for this. Well, we're using TypeScript, but we're building a website. Um, and we're using React. And I'm just gonna say the default source is our source directory, keep that, and keep that as well. Um, and yes, I'd like it to use the AWS profile, use the default one. And then this is gonna go ahead and build some stuff on the cloud. And then in a second, it's gonna generate some folders um, over here and create us some files. So now I have an Amplify folder and I have this Amplify RC file. Um, and so that means, and it's completed over here, that means we're good setting up the initial Amplify setup. The next thing we wanna do is add a, let me clear that, an API. So I'm gonna say Amplify add API. And what we're gonna choose here is a GraphQL one and we can give it a name. I'm gonna call it auction and I'm gonna use an API key here. And I do not have a schema yet and I would like help. And here I'm gonna say a single object with fields and uh, yes, I wanna edit it now. So what this brings up is what a GraphQL schema right here, and we can see it actually open this up in the Amplify folder, so that's where it's gonna keep all this stuff. And this is our GraphQL schema for our server, and it's also gonna be uh, how we fetch stuff and we store stuff, or at least, I guess we don't really know how AppSync is storing this under the hood, um, but I imagine it's pretty similar. So here I'm gonna create a type, which I'm gonna call auction, and then we're gonna have an ID, and a name and a price, which is gonna be a float. So this is a pretty simple version of it and then we're gonna be adding more to it later, uh, but we'll keep that. And we're finished uh, editing it so I can hit enter. Um, and then we have that. So until we actually, uh, we didn't actually create anything in the cloud yet. It just kind of created this locally in this Amplify folder. If I like what this looks like, I can push it to the cloud and actually create a GraphQL API. So I can say amplify push, um, and it's gonna show you the changes that you've made. In this case, it tells us that we are creating an API. Um, we call it auction, and we are, we're creating it for the first time. So I'm gonna say yes, and uh, I would like to generate code, and we're using TypeScript, and it's gonna go into source GraphQL. That's fine with me. Uh, oh, that was actually asking if I have any, and we don't have any yet, that's okay. Uh, do you want to generate, update all possible operations? Yes. Um, and that's fine. And now we'll let that push to the cloud. And then when it's also, it's gonna generate some stuff for us, which we can look at in a second. So I went ahead and cleared the console, it finished running. I just didn't want to show you guys my API key, uh, but you should have saw you got an API key at the end and also a URL. Now it's good to note with this, it is creating a whole bunch of stuff on AWS for you. And that's that services it's creating does cost money, um, but there is a free tier. So, so far I haven't spent any money just playing around with AppSync. And a lot of the, if you're just developing, you'll stay in that free tier, but it's good to note you are creating stuff in the uh, Amazon cloud. And if you use a lot of it, you will get charged for it, but it is pretty inexpensive. 
So just keep that noted when you're building this out. Um, and then we got a whole bunch of files from that. So we have the GraphQL folder that got created in this API.ts. And we can see here all the TypeScript types for the queries and mutations that we can run. And we can see we have some queries and mutations and subscriptions that it created and kind of auto-populated for us, which is kind of nice. So we can actually call these if we wanted to, and we're going to in the future. There's also this AWS exports that has some credentials. I'm not going to open that up right now, but we're going to be using that. All right, so the next thing is uh, we're going to be adding the AWS AppSync client. So this uses uh, React Apollo as well. So we're going to install three things here. So I'm going to copy AWS AppSync. And we're going to say yarn add. And we're also going to do the uh, React version of this. And we're also going to do React Apollo. So what this is going to handle for us is authenticating uh, our GraphQL server and then also uh, making requests. And what I mean by authentication is it just makes sure that no one else can access our GraphQL endpoint but us. And we can do that by using this auth. We're passing in the details here, which we get from the AWS exports, um, which is that, that, that folder or file with all the keys in it. All right, so that installed, and I can copy this. And by the way, this is just on the um, SDK for AppSync, the README. So I'm going to copy this. And we're going to put it here. And I just kind of split that in, a, in the middle there. And we'll get rid of that. And so I have my client here. And I'm going to add Apollo provider and rehydrate it around our app. So that goes right here. And by the way, I'm in the index.typescript file in the source. So let's wrap that. Oops. And then close the Apollo provider as well. All right, so this is not happy. Um, let's see what's wrong. So if I say, uh, okay, so looks like they just changed the name of the keys. So for me, and by the way, I just did a uh, command space to have this little menu pop up and I get auto completion of what the keys are. So here I'm gonna put the GraphQL endpoint. Here I'm gonna say the region and I'm guessing it's the app sync region. Authentication type. Um, we'll pass an authentication type and then the API key we will pass that in and it's not happy here a uh, string is not assignable to type okay so all we have to do there is I'm gonna say as string um, and see if that works oh okay so I was thinking this this was an enum but really uh, the type expects an enum so in this case, it expects of the type auth type. So I'm going to copy that. And we can import auth type, which I assume is coming. Yep. So it's coming from AppSync. And that seems to uh, work. So we just need to make sure that we're using enum. And I bet if I comment this out, we can see the different types that we can pass in there. Um, no, it doesn't look like it auto completes it for me. I thought it might because it's an enum. Sometimes it does. All right, so this looks good. So now we are passing in the right credentials to the AppSync client. And then we're passing this AppSync client, which handles pretty much the requests to the Apollo provider. Um, and now, and I guess they rehydrate things to do, um, I assume this is, they're using that to keep things between refreshes or whatnot. And we have uh, React Apollo, so we can now use that to do any kind of requests through uh, Apollo or to our GraphQL server. Next thing we're gonna set up is a material UI. So we're gonna install that. And then with that, we're going to include this font. And so to be able to install that every time, we're gonna add that to the public index.html and we're just gonna put this link right there. Um, and then lastly, I'm not sure if we're gonna be using SVG icons, but I'm gonna install them just in case we end up needing them. So I'll do material add material I icons. Uh, all right, so that's pretty much all I wanted to set up for this video. Um, what we're gonna do in the next video is verify that we got all this working and that we can actually make requests to AppSync.